you know you that bitch when you cause all this conversation. My daddy Alabama, mama Louisiana. You mix that Negro with that Creole, make a Texas Bama. So to start out, basically I just took those two colors and used that to set my concealer that was already on my eye. And now I'm going to go in with this color here and um, I'm going to use these two colors next to, the, next to each other out of my Beauty Treats palette and I'm going to use that as a transition color. Now as you can see, this is look actually... Man, I don't know why I've never used these two colors before. It looks really, really good. Um, oh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. So we're doing the formation video, of course, because you know, we got to slide it. That right there. <laughs> so anyway, we're just going to take that transition color, and we're going to uh, really, really uh, just kind of blend that towards our thing. And now we're going to take Supermodel by ColourPop. I believe that's Supermodel. And I'm just going to take that and place that all over my mobile lid and then um, I'm gonna actually do that twice I'm gonna pack it on twice and of course anything that we do on the left eye we're going to do on the right eye so we're gonna have to do that and then also we're gonna just as we need to just clean it up and make sure the transition is still you know slaying <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to take this palette. This is just like a random palette, so don't look for it because you're not going to find it. Um, I'm going to take that red color right there, and I'm going to use that to begin the red from the look that she had on her video. The video, the look that we're going for is the red look that she had when she, was, um, when she had the braids in the car. And so that's the look that we're going for. for more videos. So I'm just gonna spread that all over the eye and now I'm actually going in with a little bit of orange from that palette. And don't ask me why I used orange, but I just thought that it would work and it did. And so I'm also making sure that I clean it up and make sure that I'm making the transition work as well. Um, just going back and forth with those two colors to blend quite well. Um, and then um, I also, went in with um for my 120 palette i went in for with this like a it's like a orangey orangey red i went in with that as well on the lid as well and now what i'm doing is i'm taking the same um orangey red color that i used from the 120 palette and i'm going over on the um lower lash and then i'm also taking um, the transition colors as well. Right now I'm taking the transition colors and blending that out onto the lower lash line. So I hope everybody's had a wonderful weekend. Um, right now I'm going in with that supermodel into my inner eye area and I'm just um, using that as a, a you know inner corner to brighten that up. And I'm going to take those two colors that I used earlier to, to um, do my transition and I'm actually going to, um, not the colors that I use for transition, the colors that I use to set my powder. I'm going to use that actually as a brow bone color. And I'm going to take this yellow here in this random palette. Please, if you find the colors that match that I'm using, just use that. It's just a red and a yellow. Okay, nothing, nothing extra, extra special about it. I'm going to take that and actually put that on the la on the lash. Now again, this is one of those other random acts of, you know, creativity. Um, and I think when I was watching the video, some something about it just, when I saw it, um, the look, it was just like, man, something is like yellow about this look. So I decided to use the yellow because for some reason it was like, she was like kind of, she was really sun-kissed on that look. So I was like, I'm going to go for that yellow and see how that works. Now I'm taking my Marc Jacobs in blacker liner and I'm just going to line my eye and really it doesn't matter if you do it nice neat or messy because I'm going to smudge it out um, in, in the in the video you can see in her her liner was really just smudged out and um, it's a really simple look but it was just really pretty too you know it's not something that you see all the time um, but it actually reminds me of um, Rihanna's uh, bitch better have my money because in that video she also had a red eye like this as well and I did do a look on that I'll link it down below now I'm just taking my Spashbox Photo Finish Primer and I'm priming my face. I'm going to go ahead and rub that in under the eye. Be careful with that. And then I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using my Beauty Blender to 
uh, blend that in. Following that, I'm gonna go in and do my concealer under the eye, bridge of the nose, um, Cupid's bow, chin, and then I'm going to blend that out and buff that out. And I'm also going to use my black opal in medium to set that and bake. We're gonna bake, we're gonna bake. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> we are going to bake. Hey, I wanna let you guys know I'm doing theme songs for your channels. If you wanna get a theme song, don't forget to uh, comment down below, let me know, and then I'll, I'll email you or something like that. So this is the final look after everything is done. For the lips, I used a brown liner, and then I also went in with Maybelline's Barely Bloomed, number 700 and I just love the lip. This is actually, I basically went right off the lip that she had in the video yeah. and I think this is actually right around that lip. So this is the look guys, I really hope you enjoy it. I had to go and get my little fur jacket. I didn't even haul that item, I, I, I bought it and I had it in a bag for so long because I was gonna haul it with you guys. Well I never hauled it but I'm wearing it there as you can see on the top. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe and let me know what you think, all right? Bye. Oh, don't forget to watch my previous videos too, okay? Bye.